The search for a new police chief in Chattanooga appears to be over. The city of Chattanooga appointed Jonathan Chambers on Tuesday. He will fill the role that was left empty by Celeste Murphy after her resignation and criminal charges. Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> A final vote moves Chief Jonathan Chambers into the top cop spot. I stand here before you committed to being the police chief, the leader that your department needs and the leader that our city needs. He's been a part of the department since he was 20. I spent the first half of my career literally working the streets as an officer and then later as a sergeant in literally every area in the city. Uh, I worked different shifts, all three shifts, and then in every sector of the, of the city, every zone. Um, during that time, I also um, made it a point to, to try to educate myself about the differences within those communities. After former police chief Celeste Murphy's resignation, Chambers says part of his goal is gaining trust back in the community. Chief Murphy did a lot of, of positive things to, to build trust within the community. And, and you know, the situation that, that we're you know, currently in, we have to repair some of that, right? We have to work intentionally to ensure that we, we maintain those relationships, that we repair that trust um, in a variety of ways. And really that does start with relationships. You know, you don't trust someone you don't know. During Murphy's time as chief, crime went down overall between 2022 and 2023, which includes crimes against person going down 10 percent overall. But her administration also oversaw major crimes, including the mass shootings on Walnut Street and Macaulay Avenue in 2022. The next thing is to be people focused, right? Not just the community, but also the people. Our officers and, and, and our civilian staff, they are people too. And we have to continue to focus on them as well to make sure that they are well and they're able to be in our community in, in that correct frame of mind. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Jacqueline Davis, News Channel 9.